Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. We are still on Engineering Science M4 and today we will be looking at an exercise based on our previous lesson which was Relative Velocity under Kinematics. My name is Tsepo. Please subscribe to my channel to make sure you keep on receiving videos like this. Click that notification button so that you'll be notified every time I post a new video. With me I have a question that reads as follow. Car A is moving due east. So let's first write our compass at school work never end. Car A is moving due east at 40 kilometers per hour. This is our first car, which is car A, is moving uh, at 40 kilometers per hour due east. And due east means it is going to the east whenever you see the name the, the, the word ju they are they say from where you are you are moving to that direction that they have told you and then and cap b is moving at 60 kilometers in a direction 30 this is our direction 30 degrees south of east and then south of east it's going it will be here this will be our 30 south of east and then we put we will transfer it here this will be our 30 it's coming from the south going to the east at 30 degrees and then they said the velocity is 60 kilometers per hour this is our it's car number p and then the questions they say calculate the velocity of b relative to a they want the velocity of b relative to a and then they also say calculate the relative the, the velocity of a relative to b this is a and then this is question number b so since we can tell from the diagram that is given to us that this car these two cars are not moving in a parallel uh, direction. That tells us that in this question, we will have to consider to, to in this question we will have to consider the x and y's the x the x and y or the x and y direction of each car. We start with car A. The velocity of car A relative to the ground to ground x relative to the, to ground x it's in that direction and then we know that since they told us the, that the car is traveling at 40, at 40 kilometers per hour and it's in that direction this direction it's to the it's it's in the x line so our velocity of car a relative to the ground x will be 40 kilometers per hour and then we want the velocity of car A still, but now relative to ground Y. So ground Y, it's in that direction. It's in that direction. And since our car is only moving in that direction, which means our Y is 0 kilometers per hour. Now we go to car B. Relative to ground X. So... Car B, it's moving at an angle. We know each and every velocity that uh, it's at an angle will have two components. So from this, from this velocity, which is 60, we will have the horizontal component and we will also have the vertical component. So our, our horizontal component, we will say it's 60, which is the velocity of car B, cos... 30, which is this angle and then our um, vertical component we will say 30 we will say 60 sine 30 which is this angle still when you are using this method make sure you always use the angle that is the the angle that the velocity makes with the horizontal with your horizontal line and then for the for the horizontal component, 
if you are using this 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 method always use cos and for the vertical component always use sine to get your components and then we want the velocity of b relative to ground x ground x is in that direction and we know this is our horizon it's our horizontal component so the answer for this will be 60 cos 30 which is 51.962 kilometers kilometers per hour and then now we are looking for the velocity of b relative to ground y ground y it's in that direction and its value is this one as the vertical component it's 60 sine 30 and then this will be uh, will be 30 but since it is moving in the south direction we know that in the south direction it's ne the, the, our direction our sign will be negative so we will say this is negative 30 kilometers per hour now we have our relative velocity for each car uh, we have our velocity for each car relative to the ground and since we said these cars are not moving in a parallel path we will have to consider the x and y the x and y's and then that's where that's why we said the velocity of the velocity of a relative to ground x and the velocity of a relative to ground to ground y and then we did the same for the second car which is car b so now we go to our question our first question which is a they said we must calculate for the velocity of b relative to a and then we know that this will be vp minus va now first we consider the uh the x direction we'll say x direction that means we will take v bx and v ax we know that v bx this is v bx it's 5 1.962 minus v ax this is our v ax which is 40 and then this will give us 11.962 kilometers per hour and then we are done with the x direction i will erase this now we want the velocity of b we are still on uh, question a relative to a but now we are consider we are considering v p y minus v a y we are considering the y direction now we will say v p y this is our v p y it's negative 30 minus our v a y this is our v a y which is zero and then our answer will be negative 30 kilometers per hour and then from this information remember we are looking for the relative velocity we can now draw a structure like this so we have the value for the x direction and then we know that the x direction it's in this horizontal line and then we also have the the value for the y direction which will be a vertical line our y direction is negative which means it's this line and then our x direction is positive meaning it's going to that direction we erase this we erase this one and then we will be left with a structure like this our x direction is 11 our x 11.962 kilometers per hour and here will be did we don't use the negative sign anymore because it was only there to show us direction and then now we already have the direction as downward and then our relative velocity to find our relative velocity we will have to complete a parallelogram 
and then we can draw our relative velocity. So to calculate our relative velocity, we will make use of Pythagoras theorem and I will make use of this triangle. Transfer the 11.962 to this side because these two lines are the same. And then we are looking for the relative velocity. So we will make use of our Pythagoras theorem. We know that the value of RV will be the velocity on the x-axis squared plus the velocity on the y-axis squared. And then we say, let me calculate here. We will say RV will be equals to the velocity on the x-axis, which is 11.962 squared plus our 30 squared which will give us 32.297 kilometers per hour this is our relative velocity and then now we are looking we, we we have to calculate for this for this angle which is the direction we will now we will use our tan theta uh, let me erase what let me erase this we will use tan theta, tan theta, and then our tan theta will be opposite over adjacent, which will be the velocity on the x axis and the velocity on the y axis. Then our tan theta will be the inverse of tan. Our angle will be the angle, the inverse of tan. Our this will be our um, eleven point nine two nine six two divided by eight, which will give us an angle which is twenty one point seven seven four degrees, and then we must write this angle in such a way that they know which angle is it between this one. And this one because you can calculate wha uh, whatever angle you want between these two but you must indicate tell them which one is it that you have calculated so in this case we will say this 21 it's from it's east here and then here is south we will have to say that it is from south going to the east so we will, we will write south 21.74 uh, degrees to the east so so that they know which one is it between these two angles and that is the direction so we are done with uh, our first part of the question now we have to do the second part of the question we'll erase this yeah so we'll erase this and start with the second part of the question where they say we must calculate number p the value of a the relative relative to p the velocity of a relative to p and then we do the same thing the velocity of a we first consider the x which will be uh will be v a x minus v p x and then we say our v a x our v a x is zero minus our v px this is uh -uh. our v a x is it's 40 minus our v p x is 51.962 and then that will give us that will give us negative 11 point nine six two kilometers per hour and then we go to v a relative to b but now we are co considering the y axis which will be v a y minus v b y and then we mm, put the v a y which is zero negative ma minus v b y 
which will be negative 30 and then this will give us positive 30 kilometers per hour and then from here we construct uh, we use this information to get our structure our diagram our x axis is negative so it's in that direction we erase this one and then our y axis is positive so it is in that direction so we will have a structure that is like this where this is our x and it's in its 11 we no longer put the negative sign because it was only there to show us direction and this is 30 30 and then we complete the parallelogram same method draw the resultant velocity and then calculate the resultant velocity which will be the velocity on the x axis squared plus the velocity on the y axis squared and then this is equals to the velocity on the x axis is 11.962 squared plus on the y axis is 30 which will give us the same answer as the other one 32.2 two nine seven kilometers per hour so we are done with the relative velocity we have got it and now i will use this uh ah, let me use this one this time i will use this angle and then we calculate the the direction of the resultant velocity it will be tan theta this is theta and then it will be opposite which is, will be the opposite will be the y axis y v uh, the velocity on the y axis divided by the velocity on the x axis and then our theta will be equals to the inverse of tan our velocity on the y axis which is this one is 30 divided by 11.962 and then our answer will be inverse of tan 30 divided by 11.962 which would be 68.26 and then we will have to show them which angle we have calculated between this one and this one and then we know that this direction will be west this is west and this is not and then we will have to say this is west coming from west going to the north at 36 degrees 36.29 degrees yeah and this is our angle so that's how we deal with the question of relative velocity when we have a vehicle that is moving at an angle so that's basically the end of our lesson today we'll, i will see you on the next lesson uh where we will be continuing still with relative velocity my name is Tepo from me to you ciao